In this video, we are going to be talking about the drill brush and some off-label uses that might surprise you. Now, let's get straight into it. What's going on? So glad you guys are here and welcome back to the Wilson Auto Detailing community. If you are a professional auto detailer who wants to become more successful and profitable in your business or just a car enthusiast who wants to improve your detailing ability, then definitely consider hitting that big red subscribe button right below this video. So I have been getting question after question about the drill brush. So I'm about to show you guys the way that I use it in certain situations that is actually not on cloth or fabric or carpet or cloth seats or anything like that. I'm actually going to use this on the door panel, explain why and show you guys some of my secrets. So the further along we get with the YouTube channel, the more secrets come out. So one of the ways that I use a drill brush, and this is a way that maybe you've seen before, maybe you haven't, but you guys know if you're in the detailing world, there are some doors that are so hammered and that have been so left to, to just kind of like sit and rot and get dirty for such a long time that they're actually a lot more difficult to clean than they seem. Now some people kind of resort to a magic eraser. One of the issues with a magic eraser with things like this is that these plastic pieces and these leather pieces are actually kind of grooved, they're kind of textured and there's there's design in them and one of the issues is if you use a magic eraser on some of these pieces the wrong way, yes it's going to get rid of the dirt but the issue is it'll actually act as sort of like a 5,000 grit or a 6,000 grit sandpaper and the reason it gets rid of the dirt is because it sands down the leather to where it's no longer textured and so that dirt that's in the textured pieces is no longer there but at the same time the texture and the design is also no longer there. And so as a detailer, I want to clean, I don't want to damage. And so one of the ways that's easy to get in these textured pieces is with a brush. But at the same time, some brushes don't have enough bristles. They're not, uh, it's not easy. You, you can't really do it fast enough to do it in an efficient and kind of timely manner. And so one of the things that you can actually do is use a drill brush with the drill brush attachment being a soft head, a soft nylon bristle. So this drill Drill brush attachment has a bunch of little nylon bristles here and there's there's a lot of them and that's what I like is because there's a lot of bristles so it's going to be easy to get into the textured pieces on the leather and the plastic and at the same time I'm not going to damage anything because number one the leather is definitely resilient enough because it's coated with a plastic uh, layer for those of you who've been in the detailing world you know that and then the plastic the hard plastic is certainly resilient enough to handle these nylon brushes so I'm not going to be damaged anything so let me show you guys my exact strategy on how I do this so we're just going to start with the bottom piece here now you guys can see there's scuffs, there's dirt, there's things that are going to come off, and then there's things that are not going to come off because once again, this door has not been maintained, this car has not been maintained, so all I'm doing is raising this to what I like to call the highest level of perfection that is within the realm of possibility because obviously perfection is not possible, but we can certainly dramatically improve it. So not that I would do this all the time, some doors you know, require different things, so this is a case by case scenario, but because this door is especially hammered, I'm literally going to take my super clean degreaser diluted 5 to 1 and I'm just going to spray it directly onto the door panel and I'm not going to be conservative with it. I'm going to be very generous with it. Now one of the reasons I'm being generous is because it is hot outside and so you do have to use a little bit more product because this is a black piece and I don't want it to flash dry on me. But then all I'm going to do after I've sprayed it on there is use my drill brush and this is very simple. I've got it on a, a slow speed setting and I'm literally just going to use about medium pressure and I'm going to let those nylon bristles do the work. I might wet the brush a little bit and I'm not going to speed this up just so you guys can see exactly how this looks. As I'm doing this, I might even add a little bit more product as I'm going because once again, I'm eating up product as I'm using the brush and it's extremely hot outside. And then obviously I'm just going to wipe it up with a microfiber towel. Now once again, the reason I did this, and let me take you guys in so you can see. A big reason I did this is because once again these textured pieces, I don't want to sand down the plastic until the texture is gone and remove the dirt that way. I want to get inside of the little cracks and crevices, the little veins of this design, this textured hard piece. And that's what the drill brush did. So you guys can see, yes, are there scuffing, are there some, some permanent damage marks? Absolutely. But all that dirt is gone, any like sunscreen marks is gone 
gone, any mud is gone, any dirt is totally gone. And an amazing thing about this is that I'm trying, because this, this car is so kind of wrecked, I want to get all of the dirt off. I don't want to leave any sort of dirt on it. Even if I clean it, you know, with Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner, I might clean it to a level, but I might not get it all off. And so when I go to dress it, the dressing isn't going to bond and protect as well as it could because there's still a little layer of dirt there. And so with the super clean coupled with the drill brush, this is going to literally remove everything that could possibly be on it. And so I'm stripping it down to its most essential kind of fundamental part so that when I dress it, I'm getting the kind of maximum results of my dressing and therefore giving maximum results to my customer. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of this door, kind of show you guys how I do this. But before I do, obviously the brush is not going to get down here. Obviously I'm going to have to be a little more, more detailed with these buttons here inside of the door handle. You know, there's places and there's limitations to this just like anything else. I'm not going to be able to fit it down in the pocket. I'm going to have to do different measures to do that. But can I clean all of this leather? Can I clean even this stereo part? Can I clean up here? Absolutely. So this is how I'm going to do this. So as I'm cleaning all this, I am going to do the same thing that I did before. I'm going to spray the super clean directly onto the door and I'm going to work fairly quickly because once again, this is very hot and it's going to flash dry pretty quickly. And so I'm just going to spray it very gently over the stereo. I'm going to spray it a little bit more liberally on these other areas, just like this. And of course, yes, I'm going to get a little bit of overspray on the window, but I'm not concerned about that. I'll take care of that later when I'm doing the windows. Is that a little bit of overkill? Yes, it is. But once again, for the sake of the video, and then I'm just going to use my drill brush and go ahead and clean all these parts. And then I'm just going to go ahead and wipe it off quickly because I'm trying not to let it dry in the hot sun. Now, once again, are there details that I missed? Well, yes, of course, I'm gonna have to get a smaller brush for areas like this, for the door handle, pockets, all that sort of thing. But once again, the general cleaning part of this remains the same. The drill brush creates a friction and it creates a speed where it allows those nylon bristles to get in all of the textured pieces, remove all the dirt. And so literally, that's ex not only is it extremely quick, but it's extremely effective so that I can go ahead and dress this door and be done with it. So not only does it yield great results, but yes, it is extremely quick rather than me using like a non-abrasive scrub pad or something like that, this is another strategy that I can use. Now you may have noticed when I went over the stereo, I was pretty um, kind of straightforward with the stereo. I wasn't trying to be too risky or anything like that or try to be too careful because though I don't want to spray it with a ton of product, I can use those nylon bristles to get in these tiny little holes because a lot of times you'll have like minivans and stuff with moms who their kids throw gummy bears and all that sort of stuff everywhere and it gets in those tiny holes and it's like, man, how, well, how do I get in there without damaging something? Well, the drill brush is an amazing way to do that. It's going to get in all those tiny little holes, tiny textured pieces, all these crevices, and it's going to clean that out very well and extremely quickly. So with drill brushes, yes, there are a lot of different heads that you can use. There are softer bristles, there are harder bristles. Obviously with this, you know, I'm not going to use like a gout and like tile bristle because that's going to damage something. But this going over all the leather and all the, you know, plastic kind of pieces, that's not going to damage anything. Once again, just like you guys saw, it's only going to clean everything. Now, I'd like to repeat, this is not as much for detailing as it is general cleaning. Like, yes, this is a detailed cleaning, but it's not going to get in the details. So this is just for me to address the general door, and then I can quickly go up behind with different brushes, a steamer, whatever I need to do, and get in all those tiny little pockets and tiny pieces. So I'm really starting to give you guys kind of my close held secrets in the detailing world, things that I keep learning, things that I don't necessarily just let out there for everyone to see, because once again, they are really good strategies. But this is a fantastic strategy. I don't want to keep anything from you guys. So this is an amazing thing that you can use. Now, if you'd like to get your hands on a power drill or on this um, specific brush attachment, I use a DeWalt power drill and this is for, called, I think this is from a company called Drill Stuff or something like that. But I always hook up Amazon links below my videos in the description box to anything that I use, the super clean, the drill, the brush head, so that you guys can get your hands on it in your own detailing world if you want it or so that you guys can just check it out to see what it's like to see how much it is. This is about a hundred dollar drill. You're looking at about fifteen dollars for this drill brush head but it actually comes with a second one that's a little bit more aggressive cleaner brush. So if you guys would like to get your hands on the drill, the super clean, the drill brush, use my Amazon links below because it does give this channel a very small commission, but it helps this channel stay alive so I can continue to give out awesome content just like this all the time. If you guys like this video and it added some value to your life, then definitely hit the thumbs up button. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, hook up all that stuff in the YouTube comments below because I always read those and I'm sure to get back to you guys as fast as I can. And if you are new here, then definitely consider subscribing because I come out with videos all the time just like this on products 
products, tools, strategies, communication skills, business skills, and so much more, all in an effort to help the pro detailers become more successful and profitable in their businesses. And I share the same strategies that turned my business into a full-time income with only part-time hours. So if you're interested in that, definitely consider subscribing. Once again, thank you guys so much for being so involved here. And as always from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing, keep working hard, and I'll see you guys in the next video.